highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all... Good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego oh. Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center, has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. He's trying to kick the leg out. Nice defense there, huge block. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. The right hand just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Whiffs on the right hand. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Right, let's go. right hand punch to clinch. Oh, big punch land. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, huge hook. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing 
to land it with so much force. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Straight to the body there by Choi. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Score that takedown for me, man. Back to the jab now, no good. In there, DC. Another punch landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses there with the left. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take any of those kicks. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop him. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Get Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check him, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful leg kick throw. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, single collar tie now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch lands. Sneaky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Ooh, big shot land. There's the shot, there's the takedown by Choi. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 
that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, oh nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Just out of the range with that right hand. Choi's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Out of range with that one. That was a thudding leg Both kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good punch. Beautiful body kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Joy gets touched by that kick there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Nice knee to the body there. Real quick leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Just misses with the jet. Nice strike. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Ten seconds to go. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. And relax. Watch him look to finish this round. You have to put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind Edward. Keep your jab nice and long. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, single collar tie here. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful punch. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right 
Hold it. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Try to establish that jab. now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Choi's shot there is blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change the... Oh! Holy smokes! Back to the feet! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Nice high kick. Nice. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Good punch, Lance. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick to the body. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. What a performance. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment.